that you've, you've read about Coco and you've seen pictures of her. She's the signing gorilla who, who signs, does American Sign Language. And she's this enormous girl and she is so beautiful. Well, uh, she, the lady who raised her from a, from a infant, uh, Dr. Pink Patterson, uh, lives with Coco up in Coco's own house up near uh, Northern California. And so I go up and see her every once in a while. And the first time I went up, there, there's an office about, about that big. And then there's a, a fence, like fencing wall here. And then Coco's whole house is the other side of that wall. Well, Dr. Patterson put a stool up against the, the, the mesh. And Coco, I sat on a stool and my arm is up against the, the fencing. And Coco came over and sat down right here. So our arms, we just had the, the mesh between us and our arms and shoulders were touching and I was in hot I just thought it was wonderful. Well, pretty soon, Coco, there at the end, uh, over here at this end of the wall, there's a, a floor to ceiling gate with three locks here, down low, one in the middle and one at the top. So Coco went down and Dr. Patterson was sitting outside in this little office area and there was a cabinet next to him. So Coco kept pointing to the top of the cabinet and Dr. Patterson said, oh, Coco wants to show you her new television set. She's so thrilled with it. So she turned the set on. No. Coco made it very clear that wasn't what she wanted, but she kept pointing to the top of the thing. And so Penny tried it again, turned it on. No. Kept pointing. Oh, Dr. Patterson said, Coco, I'm sorry I get it now. And she picked up a bunch of keys. The minute she touched the keys, Coco pointed to this floor to ceiling gate, pointed at the bottom, to the middle, and to the top. And so Dr. Patterson got the message unlocked the three padlocks and took them out and opened the gate. Coco came out and came over and took me by the by the wrist and took me into her her room and back to the the whole house was open and to, but she went over and sat against the wall and indicated that she wanted me to do the same. So I sat on the floor and I put my hands on her fat tummy and we, we, had, we were like this, and we had the most wonderful visit, and she could actually make me understand her sign language. It was phenomenal. And she, uh, well, I must have spent an hour, and I think I spent an hour and 20 minutes in there with her. And you